morning. Today we're going to continue with our Back to Basics series. Uh, we're going to move along today to the cross. Now this again, this Back to Basics hand strike series is going to cover the five basic punches we use. The jab or the lead hand, the cross or the rear hand, the hook, the overhand, and the uppercut. So today we're going to work the cross. Basic explanation and some mechanics for you. All right. So again, from a fighting position or a bladed position, we've got our hands up. If I'm using a lead hand strike, it's going to be what we call the lead hand or the jab. This rear hand is going to be called the rear hand strike or the cross. Okay, we're going to deliver it from the rear hand. See, so, uh, things on this, there's mechanics from a boxing foundation and from the structure we have. This is actually going to provide a lot more power because I'm able to get my whole body into it. All right, it does, it can lack the depth or the distance penetration if you don't use your body mechanics and get the rotation to get your shoulder full. All right, with so both hands, if I'm squared off, my hands are going to I'm here and I don't rotate my shoulder. I'm losing distance off of the strike, but if I rotate, I'm going to go ahead and gain that distance, as well as the power from my feet all the way through my arm. All right. So again, the mechanics delivering this from here, just a straight motion. We're going to rotate our foot and our hip until our shoulders are squaring over. Of course, we're always going to have our chin tucked no matter what strike we're doing. If uh, for some reason I'm lacking in that discipline, it's just a video. All right. I'm trying to explain shit to you, and I can't keep it all together all the time. All right, so we're going to come rotate that over. <clears throat> so as I rotate over, this is going to come out. It should land. By the time I drop that weight and let that breath go, everything should be out. That should be my cross. Okay, I could deliver that vertical, horizontal. We found to get a lot of success. It's a quarter turn, a three-quarter turn, where it's not quite rotated over, not vertical, not horizontal, but in the middle. We get a lot of money with that. Okay, from a side view. In this position, the rotation happens, and we roll through a punch. Rotate from the foot, everything fluidly comes out. As the motion expels, I'm there, and then I retract the punch back. So it's a slow motion, bang, and it comes out. Now, one thing that is uh, overlooked a lot is the, the stance and the footwork and the body rotation. A lot of people will work this little, I'll come back here so you can see, this little dilly-dally foot shit. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work for you. You've got to go ahead and rotate, sit on that punch. <clears throat> so I'm back here doing this dilly dally. I have no weight transfer from the ground out to my target. I need to do what you commonly hear boxers talk about: sit down on your punches. I need to rotate and sit down on that punch. I have to allow my body to rock. If I can't rotate and spring, then I'm doing something wrong. All right. If I rotate this punch and I'm up on my toe or my Follow my foot real lightly, I can't move. I don't have any ability to spring forward. So therefore, I uh, inhibit my ability to deliver power, especially if I'm entering with that cross. All right? But if I rotate, sit on that punch, boom, I'm explosive and I can move in. That's what it's all about. you got to have your mass transfer. Mass times velocity equals force. Never forget it. You'll always figure out a way to get better power out of your punches. So again, to review, I'm in my position, regardless of where my hand structure is, this could be, again, delivered with a palm strike, with a hand yoke, whatever you choose to use. But for the sake of teaching this, we're going to just use simple boxing uh, terminology and mechanics. <clears throat> so I'm going to rotate this over, delivering the cross. Okay, from a side view. Rotate the lever. Rotate the lever. Rotate the lever. Okay, always remember to sit on your punches. And practice that. Make that a drill from this position. Rotate. Make sure my body rotation. Don't even throw the punch. Get your body rotation. Spring. Reset. Body rotation. Spring. Reset. Body rotation. Swing. <clears throat> now, if you can do that kind of stuff, you're on your way to developing the power it's going to take to make that cross knock somebody out. Have a great day.